Hello and welcome. We always think about and often come across a word, building rapport. What do you mean? Well, building rapport can be anything, but only one thing, and that is how you cope up with your clients, how you cope up with your colleagues, how you cope up with your personal and professional world that actually affects. So let's dwell into what is building repo tips and examples building repo is the act of building relationships with others in which both parties feel supported and understood repo is important when networking during interviews and when developing your career at a certain job while building repo can take time it is helpful as you work to accomplish important career goals in this particular shoot we will discuss why building rapport is important and how to build rapport in your workplace during your next interview or at your next networking event why is building rapport important building rapport is important because it can help you advance your career by developing relationships here are some relationships that can benefit from good repo what are these relationships with inspirational people building repo with people around you whether you are looking for a job or already in a job can help you learn from people who can inspire your work people you meet might be a future mentor help you develop ideas or work with you to help you accomplish certain goals relationships with key stakeholders building rapport with people who you need to work with to get tasks done is beneficial most importantly it helps you understand how best to communicate with the people around you this can make working together towards a common goal more efficient and enjoyable for both parties relationships with possible connections building rapport with those around you can open up new opportunities whether you connect with someone at your current company at a networking event or simply during your regularly scheduled day connecting with others can be helpful when developing and planning your career relationships with interviewers and hiring managers during interviews is it is beneficial to try and connect with your interviewers building these relationships can help you feel more calm and help employers better understand and connect with you are and whether you would be a good fit for that position or not how to build rapport building rapport takes time and effort here are a few tips for building rapport depending on the situation you are in find times to connect be friendly but genuine ask questions about the person's work life or interests remember details from your conversation especially their name build on previous conversation with follow up questions answer the questions about yourself find a balance between questions statements and taking turns speaking use open welcoming body language be respectful of their time provide your contact information let's look at building rapport in more detail as it pertains to specific situations during networking events to build rapport during networking events take time to get settled into the environment if it is crowded and you are overwhelmed take a deep breath if there is a seating available take a moment to gather your thoughts with your hands by your side and both feet planted firmly on the ground when you feel comfortable approach a person or conversation that seems interesting to you at networking events people expect to meet new acquaintances so it is appropriate to approach others and introduce yourselves 
introduce yourself speak with a strong voice and use a firm handshake you can ask them questions to get a conversation started like what brings you to the event or what is your profession there are several additional ice breakers you might use during initial conversations with new connections if you have a talk show who would your first three guests be if you could instantly be an expert in a subject what would it be who was your favorite teacher when you were young and why what superpower would you like to have what's your favorite section in a bookstore or library what aspect of your personality adds the most value to the world what's a skill you learned when you were young that you still use today what's your proudest accomplishment what's the most valuable piece of career advice you have been given after you have participated in initial conversations with a person or group of people provide your contact information you should continue to keep in contact with people who can help you and your job search and whom you can help in some way it's also worthwhile to build relationships with people that you find admirable or interesting setting up meetings to discuss current work or future aspirations can help build good professional relationships during interviews it can also be helpful to build rapport with the people you meet during the hiring process from meeting the receptionist at the front desk to the recruiter to your interviewers starting to build relationships with these people can increase your chances of getting the job the better you are able to form personal connections the more employers will be able to get a holistic understanding of who you are and the value you can bring to their company to build rapport during interviews follow the lead of the interviewer if they seem busy and prefer concise to the point answers do not try to fit additional conversation into the interview if the interviewers start your meeting with casual conversation use this time to begin building a relationship answer their questions and ask questions back in return while you should avoid personal topics such as religion politics etc it can be appropriate to find topics or hobbies of common interest it is important that you take an actual interest in the interviewer active listening and attentive body language such as eye contact can help form a genuine connection in the workplace there are several ways you can begin to build rapport in your current workplace it is likely that you will naturally form connections with some coworkers while others may require more effort either way here are some ways you can build rapport in the workplace what are those find appropriate moments to have casual conversation while talking about work is important participating in more casual conversation can be helpful when building relationships when you have a meeting with someone for example start out by asking what activities they did over the weekend or whether they have any plans for the week number 2 actively listen and remember actively listen and remember details when you do find windows for conversation the key is to listen intently ask follow up questions and remember key details bringing up topics from previous conversations can set an important foundation for conversations going forward this is how you begin to find commonalities learn someone's likes and dislikes and eventually deeply understand how they work and think number 3 schedule quality time regularly 
to continue building upon the relationship find time to meet on a regular basis you can schedule a lunch with a person stop by their desk when you know they have free time ask them to go for coffee or a walk around the building or share time in an activity you both enjoy building rapport with people can help you to understand how they work their likes and dislikes and how to best communicate with them while building rapport is a skill you will continue to build throughout your career there are a few steps you can take now to advance your professional relationships hope this was exhaustive enough for you to understand the concept of building rapport building rapport starts with your personal life but helps you to pick up those nuances and master the trade the tricks of the trade in a longer version in a professional world i hope this is more than enough required for you to start working towards your rapport building hope you'll do it best wishes and thank you